All right guys, before we jump into this video, I just want to say it's been a minute since I uploaded. I know that's very unlike me, but I actually was working with my friends Keith and Sam on a short film for the My Road Real Film Festival. It's on the filmmaking channel Nailed It Network. Go check it out. Give it a vote if you like it. That would really mean a lot to me. All right guys, enjoy the video. A couple months ago, I inherited this juicy SX70 from my friend David. David is a brilliant musician on YouTube, and he's one of the kindest humans I know. Go show him some love. I was really excited because the SX70 was a camera that I always looked at and said, ooh, that would be nice, but it was a little too expensive. I've never shot on one before, but I've always dreamed of it. But alas, the SX70's focus wheel was stuck. So I did what I always do. I put it on the shelf, and I forgot about it for four months. Anyway, I was editing another video, and I got frustrated with it, and decided today was the day I was going to fix the SX-70. Alright, my little dumplings, as promised, I'm going to talk about what I did to fix this, but first, a major disclaimer here. This vaguely worked for me, but this is by no means a definitive guide, and do stuff at your own risk. I am an egg, after all. If you guys have been following this channel, you know my track record with breaking cameras, so you've been warned. But I will say, beacon of light here. Score one for the fixing cameras. Angle. Sort of. So anyway, the front cover of the SX-70 just pops right off if you put your index fingers behind it and push it out. Don't be like me and push it up with your thumb because that's a good way to cut your thumb open. Like I did. Fun fact, that's why most of this video I have a band-aid on my thumb. Once you're in there, you can pull this little gear out. The first time I did it, I actually needed to use a pair of needle nose pliers to get it out. And then you can unscrew this little bolt thing here and that will loosen the focusing gear. Now the issue on my camera was that this gear was not aligned with this metal peg. There's like a little groove thing in the center there. The longer peg goes on the outside section and the shorter one to the left here goes inside the swirly bit. I realize these are some very professional instructions here. You want to line them up so that it can turn properly. As soon as I did that it fixed the issue. Keep in mind while you're in here the lens just kind of screws on and off so you can if you twist it too far it's gonna <laughs> fall off. That caught me by surprise the first time I did it. Then all you do, follow the steps in reverse, put the gear back in, put the bolt back on, slide the other gear back in, and then put the cover back on. You're good to go, hopefully. So the focus wheel was fixed. When I first got the SX-70, it wasn't moving at all, and now it's moving through the full range, so super exciting. But before I went out with it, I wanted to take a quick test shot in the apartment just to make sure everything was good. So I loaded up a pack of SX-70 color film from the Polaroid Originals branding. They were refrigerated in my previous apartment, but ever since I moved that sort of changed. <laughs> I can't hog up more than half of the fridge with film because I don't live alone anymore. So who knows if this is going to work. But in the immortal words of Danis Maximus, I had to follow the scientific method. Fuck around and find out. Check him out on Instagram by the way, he's a talented dude. And oh... I found out. I fired off a test frame in my apartment. And well, it, uh, it worked. Sort of. Half of it worked. It kinda worked. It would, I, it's messed up. I'm gonna save a little bit of time here. The first roll was pretty messed up. It looks like there's something wrong with the shutter because the top half of the frames aren't really being exposed properly. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you have experience with an SX-70, but before you do, watch the next pack because things get a little more confusing. After running this situation by check out Jacob and in an instant two of my friends who are really knowledgeable about Polaroid stuff, they kind of agreed that it was a shutter thing too. But I ran into the bathroom, I cleaned the rollers really quickly because if I know anything Thing about Polaroid at this point, dirty rollers equals bad time. And I will say after cleaning them things improved a little bit but the rest of this pack was still pretty messed up. I went out and took a drive to shoot some Polaroids, and this is good for you guys because you get to see some Polaroids, it's good for me because I get to be out of the house and shoot a little bit, and it's also good because I'm learning my new area. I didn't get lost. It's great. So I loaded up my other pack of SX-70 film. This one was black and white. Let me know in the comments below if you're a real one and know what song this is. I also decided to bring this other Spectra camera with me that I never really used before. I got it from a thrift shop. Don't know if it works, but I loaded in a pack of film. And uh, it did not work. 
That's a lie, it does sort of work, but when it ejects the photo it gets all jammed up and messy, so I don't know if that's a roller issue or if there's something wrong with the electronics, but that is an issue for some other time. This, this video is going great. Also, I don't know if this is just me, but man, that Spectra is fuck ugly. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> hey, I didn't want to shoot Spectre anyway, you <laughs> know? It was just a joke, it was... <sighs> Whoa, wait a second here. That worked? I'm just as confused as you are. So maybe that pack of color film was just really expired, but it is odd to think these packs of film were all right next to each other, so they were in the fridge together, and then they were not in the fridge together, so... Uh, 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 uh. It's a mystery, but we're in business, so that's good. So what can I say about this unexpected turn of events? Well, first of all, I was shooting at golden hour, so I really wish I had color film, but we'll leave that aside for now. I had to shoot the street light because, you know, I like doing that. Maybe it's because I like street light manifesto so much. Hmm. And speaking of things I love taking pictures of, gas station across the street. Looks really good at night. I've taken a bunch of photos of it already. You'll see, don't worry. I was really blown away by how sharp these photos were, and granted there is an obvious difference between shooting on an SX-70 with a nice glass lens versus a plastic, you know, point-and-shoot Polaroid, but still, it's crazy to see these little Polaroid frames with so much detail in them. But honestly, after how weird the color pack of film was, I'm just stoked that these photos even came out. I did notice though there are some patches of uneven developing, specifically on the lower right hand corner of a lot of these frames. And uh, looking on Polaroid's site here, let's see. This happens when the developer paste is not being spread over the whole of the photo. How to avoid, ensure your film is not expired. Okay, well that, <laughs> that's expired. Ensure that your film is correctly stored. Well, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> Clean your camera's rollers, I did that. Cool. Now I know what Meatloaf meant when he said two out of three ain't bad. I'm sure everyone will get that joke. <laughs> hey, it's such a small part of the frame, not the end of the world. <laughs> I had to stop by the diner in my neighborhood because I've already taken a few shots of this one and I gotta tell you guys, this might be the replacement for that drugstore sign that I used to shoot in my old neighborhood. It just looks really aesthetic and that sunset, oh, beautiful. Too bad it's black and white and you can't really see any of those nice colors. There's also a weird little spot there, I don't know what that is. It almost looks like when a modern Sony mirrorless camera has like a little speck of dirt on the sensor, but uh, you know, this is film, so yeah. It's, it's Bertha, hi. With two shots left, I pulled over here to shoot the sunset, and the mystery continues because these two didn't come out, so I don't know. While I fix the focus wheel issue, there's got to be something else that's going on in this camera, so I'm probably going to bring it over to Brooklyn Film Camera, considering they specialize in SX-70 repair. Not sponsored, by the way, so we're clear. The Polaroid SX70 is such an awesome format. I've always admired the camera from afar, but using it myself now, I get it. I get why the cameras are sought after, I get why they're expensive. It's a super cool camera, I love the way the photos came out, well the ones that worked anyway, and I definitely need to get mine repaired because this will be a camera I use all the time. I can just tell, so rip my wallet, F's in the chat boys. And I did end up running another roll of black and white film through it, and unfortunately it started doing the weird shutter thing again. Again. So it's not a question, this camera definitely needs to be serviced. For those of you who are into taking apart old cameras, this was a pretty simple one to do. Though I didn't really go super deep in here and I'm sure it's way more complicated beyond this. But I figured I would share this because hey, if you ever come across a cheap SX-70 with a messed up focus wheel, maybe you can just realign the gear and have one that's good to go. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway guys, before we get out of here, let's talk about the weekly feature. This week's theme on the Discord, which by the way you can join, link in the description below, was Portraits of People. And I gotta give it to Aroma Tissue this week, I just love the colors of this photo, it's so sick and simple, but so 
beautiful. Thank you for submitting as always guys and make sure you smash that subscribe button. By the way, thank you for 9,000 subscribers. Holy shit, I've been waiting to make this joke for a while. Vegeta, what does a scouter say about Sweet Blue Photography subscribe account? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? There's no way that can be right! I'm frankly just as confused as Nappa, but hey, thanks. <laughs> Anyway, leave me a comment below, tell me how you're doing, smash that like button, and, uh, share the video? And would you look at that, I just realized what month it is. I think you might know what ending clip is about to come up next. Alright guys, bye!